and welcome back to my second episode of Majora's Mask Let's Play. Um, I'm currently using a brand new mic which I bought yesterday, so hopefully this is a lot better quality. Qu quality? I meant to say quality. Anyway, let's continue from where we left off. If you are a bit weird and you are stalking my videos so much that you notice every little detail, you'll notice that I have seemed to have lost 23 rupees. And that's because originally after the first video it crashed and the game didn't save. So I had to replay it and it took me 7 tries to actually get back up to this point just because of the amount of times it crashed and the recording's not been working and the mic needed sorting out. So hopefully this time we can actually get it done. So yeah. Let's leave the clock tower. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am, at a loss. And now, I've found you. Now, don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For now, I know of a certain way to, to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you get also back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be by no means a difficult task. Except, the only thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I am counting on you. Okay, so that was the very first of my very crappy voice acting. So, the happy mask salesman has told us we have to go find his mask. But one thing I want to point out before we do start this adventurous quest. Notice the mask he has on his back. Yes, that is one Mario mask. Hmm, Nintendo Easter eggs, aren't they great? And on with the show. I really would do a voice for her, but seeing as how she's female, and I really wouldn't want to screw around with some really high pitched voice that I could not pull off. So, you're just gonna have to do your own voice for that if you really want to, because I'm not going that far. I'll do commentary, I'll do guys' voices, but to be honest, I draw the line at doing girls' voices on this game because I just don't want to completely ruin the game. So, she is in the north gates. Let's go find her. And yes, there's probably some Zelda 
obsessed people like me out here going, why are you going that way? We know where, what to do next. You're not meant to do that. But I'm just playing it as it tells me because I want to get the story done as the story rather than just completing the game as fast as possible. So we're at the fairy's fountain. Where's the fairy? Oh, she even kindly restored the health that I already had. I mean, doesn't get more polite than that. So, whereabouts do you think we can find this fairy? Hmm. Hello, Mr. Doggy. Yeah, you can't jump on me now. Come on. And run away! Okay, that is what I call a fail. There she is. So now we got to go back to the fountain just to return her to her body and jobs are good and um so anyway I want to find out more about you guys the my viewers so in the first episode I asked about your favorite Zelda game and I also asked about um, which form of like, which link form you prefer out of this game? Uh, so in this one, I would like to know. Hmm. Let me think about this. Actually, I've got a question about my own recordings. Like, would you prefer for the game this let's play? Would you prefer to it be a hundred percent completion where I do all the side quests as well? Or would you just want me to beat it in an allotted time and just get it finished rather than messing around with the side quests? I'm happy to do either, but in all honesty, I do love the side quests because I have a favourite side quest and it's probably my favourite part of this game. It's also the most difficult and annoying part of this game, but it's great, so yeah, I like an answer on that one. Anyway, on with the show. Oh my god, I can blow bubbles! Let's experiment with this. So we hold down the B button and shoot bubbles! Bubbles craziness everywhere! This is great! Hmm, what to do? Let's see... Tingle, you can come and give me a map, you kind sir.
just for the crack, we will shoot a second balloon. It has Majora's mask on it. This cannot be a coincidence. Hmm, let's talk to him. Alright guys, well I know this has been a short video, but I'm going to end this video here just so that I can fit in the hide and seek during the full next video. So yeah, uh, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel and I hope you enjoy this series.